What's up, YouTube? It's your barber girl, Tafara the Barber, and welcome to the Faded Room. Today, we have our client here, as you can see, needs a haircut, and we're going to give him a high, mid to high, fall fade. And let's go. So, first, as you guys know, we need to start off by clearing out the hair, pretty much making sure all the hair is falling into the place that it's supposed to be naturally fall, brush it, um, and make sure you see where you're at. This allows you to have a nice clean canvas to start with. So now we're going to go into the first step of our fade, which is creating our first guideline. And we are going to ball this area out. Like I said, we're, having, we're giving this client a ball fade, a mid to high ball fade. So we're just going to clear out this whole area right here as you can see what I'm doing we want this area to be nice and clean the goal is to have the nicest straightest lines and clean lines you don't always hit that goal every single time but as close as you could get to it would be would do for the cut just try to stay nice and neat and clean as you can throughout the whole cut. That will allow you to get the best possible results you can with this haircut. As you guys can see, we're balding out this area, making sure it's really nice and really clean, smooth, nice, clean areas. That's what we're, that's the goal. That's what we're looking for. Now we're on the other side and we're pretty much going to be doing the same thing. Cleaning out that area. We're going to speed this up because we already did the other side. This is just to show you guys the full head that we're going to be fading. And pretty much as you guys can see, this our first guideline is in. Let's go back, clean up whatever little hair that you have loose. Make sure you have that area nice and clean, like I stated before. And after that, we're pretty much going to go into our second step of our fade. And this technique is something that I use, but it's pretty close to the bald line. But I go in with my fabulous clippers all the way closed. And I just create a, it's not a thick guideline, a second guideline. It's just a pretty small, but half a smaller than an inch but half of an inch go up and just create a second guideline just to have a nice blend from that bald area up going making our way up and transitioning into this fade like you don't really see the importance of this right now but at the end of the cut you'll see why it's important you don't necessarily have to do this step but I realized that it gives me a cleaner blend, so I add it into my my cuts every time, and it gives me a cleaner blend. And here we're going to go into our third step, which is creating our next guideline, which is the bad list all the way open, keep it all the way open, and we're creating our next guideline. We're going to do this throughout the whole head, making sure we're getting nice, clean sectioning. You could go over it multiple times. If the hair not coming off, don't be afraid to keep going over it until you have nice clean section. And so, you know, a nice area to work with. When you go back to clean that area up and to blend it in, that'll help out a whole lot. And right here, we're pretty much just going to speed this other part up. As you guys can see, we're already having a nice, smooth, clean blend to this high fade. And that's our goal. That's what we're looking for. A nice, smooth blend. With no lines in our, in our fade. We're just going to come to the front here and finish up this last piece of the guideline that we need to and then we're going to move into our next guy our next step which is blending out that guideline that we just put in 
and you put that guy line in with the lever open and you take it out with the lever halfway closed or all the way closed. In this case, we're going with halfway closed. And as you guys can see, that line is pretty much blended out. That was right there. That the no guard all the way open, lever all the way open had created. And we're having such a smooth blend with this cut so far. This is a pretty easy step to create a high ball fade. Um, a pretty, pretty easy step to follow. As you guys can see, we're just going to keep making our way around the head and blending out that line. Don't mind the focus on this camera. It's going to come back in in a little bit and show you guys the, the blend that's coming. There you go. But yeah, as you guys can see, you see that line is pretty much all the way blended out, and that's our goal. We just want to keep creating guidelines and just keep blending them out as we go along. And from here, we're going to speed it up again just to go through this process a little bit faster and knock out that guideline right there that was created. And as you guys see, you guys can see this is a smooth, buttery blend already that's coming in here. This is just setting us up for a nice, nice finish to this high fade. All these little steps are important, you guys, so just follow the steps and at the end of the fade, you should have a very good, good result at the end of your fade. Here we're going to go into our next step, which is the number one guard. And as you can see, we have the lever all the way closed. And then we're just going to create another guideline right here. Because we're almost at the end of this fade, we're not going higher than a number one. I go with it all the way close because I know I could come back a little later and blend it out with the half guard. And that's as high as we want to go into this fade. As you guys can see, we already created that guideline. We're just going to make our way around the head and keep creating that guideline. I love a clean, nice ball fade, especially when you follow the steps and you take your time and create the look that you want, create the shape that you want. That's very important is to stick with the shape that you're you're following. Don't lose your shape throughout the haircut and just stay with it. At certain points, you, you would have to adjust or you would have to pivot, make a guideline a little big, bigger in certain areas, but the goal is to keep it the same throughout the whole haircut. As you guys can see, we're speeding up again just to get through this process a little faster on this side. As you can see, I'm not really trying to go pretty high into the top part of his hair. We're just trying to knock out that bulk that's right there. We're trying to create a guideline and knock out some of the bolt so we can have a better area to work with later when we come back and knock out the guideline that we're creating plus blending the top of the, the hair into the fade which is pretty much our finishing step to this haircut but for now we're gonna go back in with our half guard all the lever all the way closed and we're going to knock out that guideline that we created with our one guard on the Andes Masters all the way closed. As you guys can see we're pretty much knocking out that line right there. We still have a little bit of bulk in the top there but later you're going to see how we're going to blend that into the, the, the bottom of the fade and just give ourselves a better smoother blend but so far as far as going from the bottom to the top, you guys can see how this blend is very smooth and very nice. We keep brushing just to see where we're at at all times. Don't forget to keep a brush or comb in your hand just so you can clear the hair that you're already cutting. Plus, brush the hair back into the natural pattern that is gross so you could have a nice clean area to work with and see what you still need to blend or if you don't need to blend and just need to move on and that's what we keep doing here is just blending out that, that line that we've created at this area of the head 
as you can see, I'm just tilting the clippers at a different angle just because of the way that his hair grows at this area. Instead of growing straight down, it grows a little bit towards the front. So we go ahead and blend it in that direction. Now we have the wand guard all the way open. And as you can see, we're blending the top of the hair into our fade that we already created. I'm not pressing down or putting a lot of pressure on this. I'm just slightly running the clippers over just so we could get a blend and we're just gonna keep working that in until we get a blend right here from the bottom of our fade into the top of the head and you guys can see it's already creating a nice a nice blend from the bottom into the top and we're just gonna keep doing this throughout the rest of the head creating that blend And we are going in the direction that the hair grows, as you can see. The front part of his hair really grows towards the front. And then the rest of it grows down a little bit. It's at an angle a little bit, but not as much as the front. So we're just going to keep gliding and taking off those extra hair, taking off that bulk. Keep brushing and making sure we get the best blend possible right here. Like I stated earlier, sometimes you have to pivot, and this was an area that I had to pivot. I had to go up with my lever, halfway open, and just blend that area. Because we had a little bit of extra bulk that wasn't coming out with, the, with our downward motion. You can see we're getting a better blend from the top into the bottom and we just keep moving that lever just to get that nice blend this is a blending slash detailing time of your cut this is a moment that you you know you just gotta keep detailing and that's what we're gonna keep doing here I go back in with our no guard and I'm not creating a guideline or anything like that but all I'm doing right now is just cleaning up that area that we are, had already blended and no, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. It might look like that without without the guard um, in certain areas, but as you can see, the the, the clipper is at an angle, and we're just taking out those little bulks and the you know blending up those extra hairs that are sitting there stranded, just so we could get the nicest, smoothest, buttery blend that we can for the finish to this haircut. And as you guys can see, I'm not creating a line or anything like that. We're just blending this, and it's coming out pretty smooth. This is a pretty good blend. We're going to do the same thing in this motion. Just coming down, taking off any extra hair that was left there. Now we're going to prep the hairline and knock this hairline out. Give them a nice, crispy hairline with this nice, crispy, smooth blend that we already gave them with this cut. And a part of prepping the hairline is making sure all those stray hairs or anything that might not be in order with the head is, you know, is removed. And as we know, to get a nice crispy line in the front, you got to clean the area that you're going to line up. This is just a warm towel just to get any type of uh, oil or anything like that that's at the hairline area and just take any extra hairs off that might be there clean it up and get it ready for that nice crispy lining you can see where he has a pretty clean forehead so far so put that on and we're gonna use the dryer here just to dry the area and prepare the area a little bit more put it on cool a cool setting just to dry the area in prepare the area as you guys can see this area is pretty much prepped sorry again for the focus of the camera but it will come back into focus and you guys will see at a later time how the hairline comes out it's still a little out of focus but don't worry you guys you'll, you'll see the actual lineup just bear with it and here we go we're just you know, we're trying to keep the hairline as natural as possible. 
he's a little kid so we're not trying to start off and push his hair back we're just trying to give him the most natural hairline as possible and you know clean it up later and make sure it's really nice and crispy when we're done this is not the finished hairline but it's a part of the process to get to that nice crispy line up at the end that you guys are going to witness again like I said we're not trying to push his hair back at all his mom doesn't really like his hair back to be pushed his hairline to be pushed back so we're trying to still give him that nice crispy lineup but still keep his size and here we're going to go into the razor which is the next step you know just to get a nice cleaner smoother area to work with and as you guys can see it's already looking a lot more sharper than it was don't forget to stretch the skin with every stroke that you move your razor always stretch the skin just so you can have a better hold on the area and on the skin that you're working with and get a nice smooth glide across the skin as you guys can see we're just going to keep doing this around the head and give them a nice crispy line Again, at the end of this, you guys will be, you know, have a chance to see the actual lineup. So don't worry that you can't really see the full thing right now. I'm just giving you the areas so you know how to use the razor and how to glide across the skin. Don't forget to remove any stray hairs, any little baby hairs or anything like that. We want this area smooth and clean. The smoother and the cleaner, the better your hairline and the cut will look. And we're going to go on the next side and do the same thing. Just clean it up. Here we're going to put a little bit of hand enhancement to give him, you know, a bit of a pop in his hairline. Like I said, his mom doesn't like his hair pushed back. So there's a little difference in his baby hairs and the top where his hair is a little higher so we're just gonna make sure we blend that as close as we possibly can give him that nice natural look not too dark or anything like that but also make sure his hairline stands out throughout this cut and you guys can see it's already giving a nicer look to this hairline Now we go back in and remove any stray hairs. Here, since we already went in first with the liners and with the razor, we're just tapping here. We're not really forcing the clipper down, the liners down, or anything like that. We're just tapping to remove any stray hair that might possibly be there. Make sure our lines is as straight as possible. And as you guys can see right now, this line hairline is pretty straight. Now we're just going to go in. I like to curl shorter here like this with my hand because it gives it a nice even curl. And to your client, you know, you're rubbing on your client's head so they kind of enjoy it a little bit more, especially the kids. And this hair is pretty much almost done. We're just going to keep doing this until we get a nice even curl pattern going across the whole head. And this is the finishing product. Look at that glance. Look at that glance. Follow the process. Trust the process. And at the end, you will get great results. I love this blend. His mom loved this blend. He loved his haircut. And as you guys can see... We did our thing. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching with your girl, Safari the Barber. This is the Faded Room, and we'll see y'all in the next fade. Don't miss it.